Hello, Reader Pops! Welcome back to the book channel. It's the first video of 2022, and we just hit 700,000 subscribers! Which is crazy, because I abandoned this channel and then came back with book videos, and apparently y'all care about that, so this is freaking epic for me because I love reading. I bought some books for the new year, and I also just want to give you a 2022 TBR list, which is a to-be-read list, so all the books that I want to read in the year of 2022. Obviously, I don't know all the books I want to read in 2022 because the recommendations will come throughout the year, but let's start off with some of the books that I bought because I know I want to read them. This is Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. I love the cover of this even though it's a real picture and I usually don't like those. This is a young adult romance book and I haven't really read that much YA romance so I really am excited to this year and I actually don't know anything about this but I know it's romance and I know it has summery vibes. Yeah, it takes place over the summer. Then the first thing that I read this year was the Cruel Prince series and that is YA fantasy with romance in it and it is the most different genre I've read so far I feel like and I loved it so much. So now I'm on this whole path of reading YA books, fantasy books, and specifically fantasy that has romance. So I was recommended Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I hate the cover of this. And that's actually such a funny thing is I actually didn't read fantasy for the longest time because I thought the covers of the books were so ugly. But then I finally gave in and read The Cruel Prince and I am obsessed with it. So I heard this is a very strong romance plot. So I'm just, I'm gonna read it and see what I think. If, if I really do like this genre, or if it was a fluke. They need to put this cover back into Photoshop and fix it, no offense. Okay, another cute little YA romance, and this is specifically academic rivals to lovers because that is probably one of my favorite tropes in the whole world. It's Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon. Every time I do one of these videos, I realize that I don't know that much about books before I read them. I'm getting better about researching them to make sure that I'm not going to dislike it for a certain reason before going into it, but I literally, all I needed to know was YA romance, academic lovers to rivals, and I'm going to read it, and it has a really high rating. Next, we have the masterpiece by Francine Rivers because in 2021 I read Redeeming Love by her which is becoming a movie and she's a Christian author. Regardless of her being a Christian author, she is just an amazing writer. She just writes the most amazing love stories ever and they're so unique and they're always so thick. They're always like over 400 pages but they go so fast because it's so easy to read. And I've heard raving reviews about this one. Literally don't know what it's about at all, actually. Okay, next I bought a bunch of books that are like the first of a series. Legend by Marie Lu. This book is so famous already. And I think I'm starting to realize that a lot of books are famous for a reason. So I might as well give them a shot because The Cruel Prince has been hyped up for so long, has so many ratings on Goodreads, and I finally read it and I was in love with it. So now I'm kind of on this thought process that's like, okay, what are all the books that are already so famous and so well loved that I haven't read yet? And this is one of them. So it's a dystopian novel, which I used to eat up dystopian novels when I was in middle school. It's what got me into reading. And another thing I liked about reading The Cruel Prince series is that once I was done with the first book, reading books two and three went by so fast. You're already in love with the characters and the world, and it's just so much easier to read books quickly. So I figure I'm gonna try to get myself hooked on another series. Let me know if you want me to do a video where I read a bunch of really, really, really popular books because I feel like it would be fun. Yeah. That's my only reasoning. I think it would be fun. I posted a TikTok about the Cruel Prince series. I know it's the only thing I'm talking about right now, but I was asking you guys what I should read after that because I'm so new to the genre. I really don't know what books are related or what else I would like. And absolutely everybody said Akatar, which is A Court of Thorns and Roses. I know I don't want to read that because of all the spicy scenes in it, but people also keep recommending Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas, and this is young adult, so I'm assuming there's not spicy scenes, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, because I could be, but I need to do more research about why people don't like Sarah J Maas, because I've heard some things about her, and so I don't really know if I'm like, supposed to be reading her, but also everyone and their mom recommends Throne of Glass. I'm gonna try it out and see what everyone's talking about. Okay, this is not a series, but it's also one of those just super popular books. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. It's actually a Netflix film, so I'm excited to be able to watch it after reading this. And all I know is that people cry and that it's compared to A Fault in Our Stars, which I loved as a child, so I'm going to read this. And then One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus, which is also an original series on Peacock, so I get to watch this after as well. This reminds me so much of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. For so long, I would get those books mixed up and I thought they were like part of the same series. And I loved 
a Good Girls Guide to Murder series so much, and this gives me extremely similar vibes. So I'm excited to read this. It's a murder mystery in high school, I believe. Those are the books I bought, but here are the books that I have that I want to read this year. <sighs> Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I'm actually already 200 pages into this. It was just going so slow that I started to allow myself to read other books. This is like the first classic I've ever attempted to read on my own, you know, not being assigned it in school or anything like that. Everyone says they love it, and I don't know if they're lying or not. Because let's be honest, it's a classic. It's difficult to read. Like, I don't understand what I'm reading half the time. I started listening to a free audiobook of it on the podcast app, and that helps me focus so much. But yeah, I still have 200 pages left, and I don't even think the freaking love story between Elizabeth and Darcy has started yet. So maybe I will understand the hype once they start interacting with each other more. But I would love to read a classic. I bought the entire Crave series, so I should probably read it, right? And people say, if you love Twilight, then you should read this. And I love Twilight so much. But yeah, I've actually read like 30 pages of this or something and then I just got distracted by something else. I was in a reading slump, so I read like 50 pages of a ton of different books and never stuck to one. Speaking of which, one of those being Caraval, which is by Stephanie Garber and it is one of those fantasy series that everyone recommends. And I also bought the entire series. The second book is Legendary and then Finale. And then there's a spinoff called one, one, <laughs> Once Upon a Broken Heart, which I thought was so cute and everyone was freaking out when it came out. So I have of every book possible in this series, it's time for me to read it. It seems like it has some adventure aspects and some like magic aspects. Um, kind of gives me Night Circus vibes, except not boring. No offense. And I actually read like the first 60 pages of this book already. So I kind of already know the characters and stuff. So it's probably what I'm gonna pick up next. TBH. Okay, I have two, actually I have three Sally Rooney books because she is so popular. I started Normal People and I got bored. And so I started to think maybe I wouldn't like it. So I stopped reading it. But I own Conversations with Friends and Beautiful World, Where Are You? I'm most interested in Beautiful World, Where Are You? And I really just wanna get through one of her books so that I can have an opinion on her because people love or hate her. And I just wanna know what everyone is talking about. So I'm probably gonna read this one. Next up is The Poppy War series series by RF Kuang. I've heard that this is just one of the best sci-fi and fantasy series ever, but I've also heard that it kind of has like darker topics. And for some reason, it's one of those books that I feel like is going to be confusing, which is why I haven't read it yet. Everybody loves this book so much. Yeah, I'm also nervous that it's like too much war because I've said this before, I don't like reading about war. But then the Cool Prince series kind of changed my mind about that because there's like a lot of political stuff and I actually ended up liking it. I have more faith that I will like this one. Now. And These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, which I have read the first 15, 20 pages of. I really have a habit of like reading the first chapter of a book and then just getting distracted by something else that I want to read more. So many of my favorite booktubers has said that this is one of their favorite books and it's basically a Romeo and Juliet retelling but in Shanghai, China in like the 1920s. So it sounds so cool and now that I like fantasy romance, I feel like I'm going to absolutely love this and it's actually a duology. I can read the second book after. This is The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You by Lily Anderson and I bought this because it was recommended as an Academic Rivals to Lovers and I wanted to do a video where I recommend Academic Rivals to Lovers and there's not many books out there So I got this one. I think it's self-published. I'm sorry, but the cover of this makes me not want to read it Okay, people are saying that it's a smart funny witty book, you know, I'm judging it by the cover Actually, I don't even know if it's self-published. I should be able to tell but and then also young adult Academic Rivals to Lovers not here to be liked by Michelle Wah. She's also Asian, so love that. Ooh, a coming of age story with a touch of romance. It says, warning, this book contains an unlikable female character. Perfect for anyone who has ever felt unlikable. Ooh, I felt unlikable, guess I should read it. Those are all the books that I own and wanna read, but let me tell you the books that are either gonna come out this year or that I want to read, but I just don't own them. Because one of them is actually in the mail right now, and I'm so excited to read it. The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. This is a mystery book that is getting a lot of hype right now. It's actually supposed to deliver within the next 30 minutes, so darn. I think mystery and thriller is also a genre I could really get into this year, but I have the same qualms against it, being that I don't like a lot of the covers of the books. I'm telling you, that is what stops me from reading so many books, and I know that's stupid, but romance covers are so cute, so then I like reading them. I know. 
oh, it's so silly. Book Lovers by Emily Henry is arriving at my house on May 3rd. I already have it pre-ordered and I am so excited because you guys know I loved Beach Read and I also liked People We Meet on Vacation and Book Lovers sounds amazing because it also has people who love books, which is in one of my favorite romance novels, Love and Other Words. They both loved books in that and I love that book, so I'm so excited for that. And then we also have The Atlas Paradox, which I think comes out in the fall. They haven't released a date, but you guys know I loved The Atlas Six and this is the second book to that. And then The Final Gambit, which is the last book in the Inheritance Game series, which you guys know I loved as well, so I'm so excited for that. So yeah, those are the books that I'm really looking forward to in 2022. Please tell me what you want to read because I would love to add more stuff to my TBR. Oh, actually comment your favorite book of 2021 or just your favorite book in general. And yeah, that's it for this video. Subscribe if you like books, follow me on Instagram at HaleyFam or TikTok or my main channel. I also have merch at HaleyFam.com that says girly pop and embroidery. And yeah, I hope I see you in my next video. Bye.